Hey, what's going on everyone? Bows Phoenix here with a brand new video, and since the last video I did like this went so well, I figured, what the heck, let's do another one. And so it's with that, I present to you 5 underrated secondary weapons in Warframe. Before that though, I want to make a PSA that my website is indeed shut down for now. I mentioned this in another video, but I don't think many people caught it. I just don't have the time right now to update the builds and guides on it, and I don't want you guys getting confusing information. Anyway, enough rambling, let's get on with the video. The first secondary weapon on our list also happens to be one of my favorite weapons overall in the game. That weapon is none other than the Ak Jagara. The Ak Jagara is a dual pistol weapon and was released back in Update 15 when Digital Extremes had this weird but awesome bladed weapons fetish. It was debuted alongside the Redeemer and Tigress, and all three weapons had the same design aesthetic. Along with that, they all had extremely steep crafting requirements, which, if I had to guess, is one of the reasons the Ak Jagara has made its way onto our list. Another reason for its underratedness is that, although it's a massively fun weapon to use, it tends to fall off at higher levels due to its less than stellar critical chance and status chance and extremely high recoil. Regardless, it's still an awesome weapon, and fun fact, it's one of the only non-shotgun weapons in the game to have an 8 multi-shot. So if you've got nothing better to spend platinum on or throw into your foundry, I recommend giving this thing a solid shot. Moving on to an actual shotgun, the Comac successfully volleys itself into our second spot. For those of you unfamiliar, the Comac is a hand shotgun that has the unique mechanic of multiplying its pellet count with each successive shot. Its design is based off the primary weapon, the Comb, which is basically the Comac's big brother. Up close, this weapon is capable of massive amounts of destruction due to its insane pellet count and is extremely fun to use. It really excels in situations where enemy density is high and there are a lot of things on the map to kill. Case in point are the infested missions. Anyway, the Comac does suffer from massive pellet spread, making it all but ineffective at almost anything but point blank range. On top of that, it also has one of the poorest ammo economies in the game because while it does multiply its pellet count, it also multiplies the amount of ammo it uses per shot until it's empty. These attributes may very well be the reason I don't see people using the Comac very much, but I will say that for a time, this was my go-to secondary weapon. Because hand shotguns are awesome, let's talk about another one real quick. The Piranha is a devastating crit-based monster of destruction and more than earns its place in the number 3 spot on our list. Featuring primarily slash-based physical damage, an automatic firing mechanism, and decently high critical chance, the Piranha was, for a time, one of the most powerful secondaries you could get your hands on. Times have changed though, and for most people that own it, this weapon has been collecting dust in Tenno's foundries all over the world. I used to really love this weapon, and while I was making this video, I really just now discovered it. And I'm pretty glad that I did. Though if I had to guess why people skip over this weapon nowadays, I'd have to say that for me at least, I got really tired of constantly reloading this thing. I think if you were to do the math, you'd find that if you're continuously firing and reloading the Piranha, you actually spend more time reloading it than actually shooting it. Regardless, this thing is awesome, and you should definitely give it a try sometime. Number 4 on our list is a weapon that's consistently been a punching bag for a certain YouTuber over the years, but don't be shy now. Step on down and let's take a look at a weapon I think could be extremely top-notch with just a few improvements. That weapon is the Ratka Ballistica. I remember way back when they announced the Syndicate secondaries, and this weapon was among them. I was super hyped about it because the regular Ballistica was badass looking, and I loved the idea of it, but the stats sucked. Fast forward to present day, and we find that the Ratka Ballistica is a pretty fantastic improvement over its non-syndicate counterpart, but it still suffers from some awkward mechanics that could make it truly great. For example, the Ratka Ballistica suffers from something I call weapon jamming. It has two firing modes, one that's initiated by just pressing the fire button that launches a barrage of crossbow bolts, and the other that's initiated by holding down on the firing button, which releases a single charge shot. When trying to repeatedly charge a shot though, you'll find that there's a slight delay between firing one shot and charging another. This can be really frustrating when trying to charge follow-up shots, only to find that the shot didn't charge at all, and you're still holding down the fire button with nothing to show for it. If you're unsure of what I'm talking about, try using your favorite bow and then switching to this thing. You'll see what I mean. Another small issue with this weapon is that when a shot is charged, 
you can't cancel it like you would with a bow. Pressing the reload button while holding a charged shot just reloads the weapon, which is really frustrating when you're used to bow mechanics. In all though, I still love the Racka Ballistica, I just know that with a few tweaks it could be so much better. I bet you didn't see this one coming, did you? Number 5 on our list and a weapon I think is severely underrated is none other than the Stug. Let's be honest here, how many of you out there even remember that this weapon existed before you watched this video? A few of you? Okay, I'll take that. Anyway, for those of you that have never even seen the Stug, you should know that it's probably one of the most terrifying weapons in this game. It's basically a grenier made corrosive jizz launcher capable of dropping hot, deadly loads on the faces of your enemies. Turned on yet? No? Well, then you should also know that the projectiles fired by this weapon explode after a short period of time, dealing massive amounts of damage. They can even be stacked by shooting one blob into another, further increasing the damage dealt, or you can hold down the alt fire button to charge a massive blob with the same effect. Even though this thing is a powerhouse of a weapon, I think that it gets often overlooked because A, it's weird as hell, and B, it's just kinda hard to use. The projectiles it fires travel very slowly and not very far. The Stug can be used much like the Torrid though and is useful when holding choke points from enemies. Oh, and you can totally kill yourself with it too, so use it at your own risk. And there you have it people, 5 secondary Warframe weapons that I think are underrated. If you made it this far into the video, I really appreciate you for watching, and if you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button, it helps out a ton. Additionally, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more Warframe content. It's free, and I put out new videos daily with varying degrees of success. Anyways guys, I'm Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.